Hi everyone, today I'll show you how to make Nutella Choco Tart. It is very easy, no much efforts into it and super easy to make. Let's begin making it. We need Oreo cookies and a blender. Now you need to blend these Oreo cookies till they turn into a fine powder or you have a granular texture. As you can see right now, once done, just don't forget to scrape the sides and then add an unsalted melted butter into it. Just make sure that the butter is at the room temperature and not hot. Now combine this butter with the Oreo cookies and then place it into a desired mold. Any mold of your choice should do. Just make sure that you cover or line the mold with a cling foil or a silver foil. Just spread the mixture evenly and then you need to place it in the freezer for about 15 to 20 minutes or till the time it becomes firm. Now. Heat some full fat cream in a saucepan and keep on stirring it on a high flame till the time it comes to a boil. Remove from the flame as it comes to a boil and in a bowl take chocolate powder or cocoa powder and add this cream to it. Now you need to mix in this together till the time it becomes into a thick smooth paste. As you see right now this is the texture that we get and then you remove our Oreo cookies from the freezer and spread this chocolate paste on top of it. You can use a palette knife or a spatula or even the back of a spoon. Now put it in the freezer again for another 15 to 20 minutes or till the time it becomes firm. Take Nutella and add Nutella on top of it once it is nice and firm and spread Nutella. Make sure that all the sides are covered with Nutella. You can again use a palette knife or a back of a spoon or even a spatula as I'm using right now. Once done, just add or spread chopped strawberries on top of it. Cover the entire top layer with the chopped strawberries and then you need to put it in the freezer for another 15 to 20 minutes or till the time it becomes firm. Your Nutella no bake choco tart is ready to be served. Just cut it into pieces and serve it immediately. You can store it in the fridge for about one week. Enjoy the recipe.